everybody, you might be wondering why you're staring at the floor. And it's because I'm excited. Not really excited because you're staring at the floor. I'm excited because I got something really, really awesome today in a post. Something that I've waited a long, long time for. And you guys might have guessed it. That's right, it is, boom, the Death Watch Overkill box set. This is something that I've been waiting for for a long, long time. And I don't mean I've been waiting for it, you know, since the rumor mill started it, uh, or waiting for the actual game for that matter, but for what is inside this box, mainly because we have the return of Gene Steeler Cultists. Let's just zoom in a little bit more so we can get the full unboxing in all its glory. But that's right, guys. So um, this box actually contains something that I have wanted for a long, long time, Gene Steeler Cultists. Now, the last time I believe Gene Steel cultists were even mentioned in 40k fluff and rules was all the way back in third edition That's almost 18. In fact, it might be over 18 years ago So it's almost 20. They rounded up to 20. That's a long time to be waiting for something guys um, Now you also might be wondering Jojo man. How have you afforded this? This is a hundred pound box set Well truth be told I ordered it from the outpost and they do fantastic 20% off most GW products So I only got it for 80 and then I split it with a friend who wants the death watch Marines not the Gene Steelers so so we split down the middle so it was 40, so I got it for quite a bit cheaper. But anyway, enough talking, let's get in the box. Rip, rare, rip, rip rend, tear, kill. Get in there like that. The box is already partly open because um, my uh, fiance's dog decided to help me open it. And he went a little bit too far. Oh, oh, just one second guys, let me just, let me just, let me just get this one second. It's like fresh cocaine. I do not condone using drugs. Uh, but anyway, guys, so let's open it up and see what we get in the actual box. Um, in fact, no, let's wait, wait out for a second. Let's just look at the box. Look at this amazing artwork. It's fantastic. Suffer not the alien to live. Really, really cool tagline. So basically on the box, all around the edges, got some really awesome artwork. Um, it's actually different from the one that you probably see in GW stores. Because one of GW stores has all the miniatures actually around the edge. Unless it's on the inside of the box. Yeah, it's on the inside of the box. We'll look at that in a second. But back of the box. Ugh. This is really heavy and really awkward for me to film, guys. I do apologise. So just your general setup there. Just little teasers what's to actually in the box. But anyway, we've had enough of that shit. Let's actually open up the box. Yeah, I was right. The miniatures are actually all around the edge of the inside box layer. So that's really, really cool. So uh, first and foremost, what do we have in here? We have the rule book, uh, which is um, just the, you know how to play the um, Death Watch Overkill. Um, I'm not going to open that just yet because I'm not sure what me and my friend are doing with the rule and all the boards and stuff and all the other guff. So anyway, so you get the rule book. Uh, that's there. Uh, you also get the board tiles, which are quite nice, modular. Uh, you know, um, they come in a quite thick cardstock, which is nice and robust. Um, I'm guessing these will be... Yeah, they've got the perforations, so it's a case of... Will these pop out? Yeah, these pop out, so it looks like they are indeed modular, which is quite nice. Very, very detailed cardstock there, which is pretty good. Uh, I'm going to move further around here, just so that I, uh, I'm i not leaning around the tripod all the time. Uh, we've got some uh, packaging. Woo, yay! You all love packaging. Mmm, bubble popping. Oh no, it's that evil bubble wrap which you can't pop. Curses, damn you, Games Workshop, next time. Uh, but anyway, so all the stuff that we've got, we've got some cards. By the looks of it, these look like the uh, stat cards for the actual game. Um, with obviously, we got the, the Gene Stealers, Gene Stealer Cult guys, and the Death Watch guys all in here. Um, we've also got. Uh, what, are, what could these be? Um, Gene Stealer. These look like um, special ability uh, cards here. So, Gambit, slightly psychic onslaught. I'm not exactly sure how to play the game yet. This is literally just an unboxing as to what's in the box, guys. More to come with this soon, though. And in fact, if anyone can point me out a stencil, or make me a stencil, and I will pay for it gladly, that looks like that, um, please let me know. Please get in touch, because I'm going to be needing a stencil like that soon. Uh, next thing we have is a lot of fucking bases! So many bases there. We've also got the big oval base for um, the Space Marine bike, I'm guessing. Uh, and then we've got, I don't know, why, why are these bases loose? Why do we have loose, loose things in the box? I do not I do not understand. Um, so we've got some of the other large, uh, larger bases. Um, this is played with um, predominantly the, what is it, the 35 mil bases? So the slightly bigger ones from standard size? Ooh, listen to that, guys. If 
that's setting off some ASMR, I don't know what will. Mmm, lovely. Uh, but yeah, so we've got the basis for all the stuff. Uh, we've got um, some dice. Yay! We all love dice. We all played uh, games of dice. Uh, we know what dice are. Happy days. Uh, we've got... Uh, what's this? We've got this... Um, oh, what? Now, Games Workshop, come on now. You put so much effort into a game box like this. Why not at least make this like a decent bit of plastic rather than this flimsy mimsy piece that's going to get really tatty soon. But this looks like it is a range finder to some degree. So I'll put that in there. Now guys, the stuff that you've all been waiting for, the juicy bits, which is the sprues. If you guys have been paying attention to my Facebook, oh, a cheeky base fell out. Look at that, just cheeky there. We'll put him in there. If you guys have been paying attention to my Facebook, you will know um, I have already put the sprues on Facebook and the images are up there, whatever. But for you guys that are on Facebook, I will show you guys now. And in that case, I will just readjust the camera and I will zoom in for you. There we go. Hopefully that... Oh, no. I'm going to have to bring it closer. <laughs> oh, oh, well, in fact, what I'll do... Let me just get one sprue in here. Oh, my God. I should have really thought this out. But I wanted a live unboxing, so it's my fault, really. Uh Jesus Christ, how are we going to do this? How are we going to show off the magnificence of these sprues, guys? Because they are really, really good. In fact, I think I'm just going to have to... Um... Oh, dear. This isn't working out at all. Um, basically, guys, okay, so you get one sprue for the um, gene stealers. You get two sprues for the gene stealers. You get three sprues for the gene stealers. Um, and then you basically only get two sprues for the marines, which are these guys here. Now, there's a lot more model of the gene stealers than the marines, because obviously the marines are marines, and they're beasts, and they're going to just fuck everything up in combat. Um, however, this is probably my favourite sprue of the lot, because obviously being the... In fact, can I just take a perch here and sit down a second? Because it's hurting my back. Yeah, I basically fell off the back of my oh, computer chair the other day. And I've uh, done my back in, so I've got to be really careful. Uh, but yeah, guys, so this is my favouritest sprue. Because this has all the juicy goodness on it that is the Tyranid. So you've got the Gene Stealer uh, Patriarch there, whatever you want to call it. The big, dirty Gene Stealer, um, which was the one Gene Stealer to rule them all, which is pretty cool. Lovely little bits of detail. You also have the... Um, Magos on here as well. Let's see if we can find some more stuff for him. Where's where's the rest of the Magos? Where's the rest of him? I don't know. I've lost the rest of him. But the rest of the Magos is on there somewhere. You got the I think there's the Gene Stealer Pri Primus or the Gene Stealer Alpha. Let's look at the actual names. I actually bought the White Dwarf as well because, like I said, I'm predominantly going to be using these guys for. Um, uh, what we've got the 40k rather than the actual board game itself. Yeah, so you've got the uh, page the Patriot the Gene Steel Patriarch, which is what I showed you before, the Magus, and then ah oh, yeah, the um the Primus. Um Vorgen Tast, however you want to say that. Sounds a bit German, but anyway. So you got him as one, well. he's a really, really cool miniature. And there's something about the construction of these guys. They're very similar to the Skitari in regards to how you build them, which is quite cool. But they're going to be making some fantastic little projects for me. And it's going to be great to actually finally have Gene Steel Occultists. But I'm really looking forward to doing some awesome um, psychic glowy effects. I mean, look at the detail on his little... Let's see, I need to move this camera up a little bit so I can get it in. But look at the detail on his little staff. His little staff actually has a gene stealer on it. I mean, it's very obvious that he's designed with AutoCAD, uh, but the level of detail on them is absolutely phenomenal. Let's look at some of the actual uh, torsos of the, the gene stealer uh, cultist guys. They're really, really cool. Look, proper mutant, proper ragtag. Just really, really cool, like with the mining colony lasers and the security kind of las guns and things. Just look really, really cool. They're going to be so much fun to paint. Um, let's take a little closer look, because the other sprue is pretty much the same. Let's take a little closer look at the um, the Space Marine stuff. So, you get a White Scars biker. Now, I know a lot of people are massively after this White Scars biker, because he's just so cool. I mean, just look at the detail on him there. Really, really good. That hair, he just screams Kasaro Khan. I think that's what people want to uh, use him as conver for conversions for. Uh, he's got this cool little raven there as well. Um, and uh, yeah, even like down to the detailing on his power sword is just... I can't even get it in. The camera's being silly. Even the detailing on his power sword is 
utterly, utterly brilliant. He's even got like little shields there. The detail is just so high quality, it's unbelievable. Um, one of the things that I do wish that they'd taken a little bit more time in doing was the Space Wolf one, because he literally just looks like one of the Wolf Guard guys. Um, but yeah, I mean, if we even look at just the detailing on the uh, librarian here as well, guys, just re focus. There we go. The detail on the librarian is absolutely juicy. Just really, really good stuff. Uh, my favourite of the marine models, actually, uh, I think, is the um, the uh, Salamander Terminator with his flamer and melter. There he is. There's the back of him there, if it'll focus. Um, but, yeah, guys, so I've rambled on this for about ten minutes now. Um, I'll probably do some... Well, you guys are going to see the gene seals and stuff in separate videos as I paint them up. And I'll also be giving you the rule sets with them as well. Um, but that's just what is inside the box set for um, with the gene seal occultists and stuff. So I just thought I'd give you a little unboxing as to what you get so you guys can see whether or not it's worth it for the money. Uh, personally, I would say go hard with on, the, on this set with someone. Um, don't bother with um, buying the whole thing yourself. Get it from the outpost. It's only 80 quid then, and then it's only 40 quid if you want to go hard with someone, which is fantastic. Uh, but anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to leave you because my recording time is about to die. So, guys, um, thank you very much for watching. See you guys again. Keep an eye out for more Gene Steeler videos and more videos in the future. Don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Check out the Facebook group, and I'll see you guys again. Yeah, and goodbye. Links in the video down below. Bye.